on the nomination of Katanji Brown Jackson of the District of Columbia to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. On this vote, the yeas are 53, the nays are 47, and this nomination is confirmed. A historical moment as the Senate confirmed Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson as the first black woman justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. Presiding over that vote, Vice President Kamala Harris, the first woman, black and Asian American, to hold that post as President Biden watched with Judge Jackson. Three Republicans joined Democrats in voting for her. As for Ohio's senators, they stuck to party lines with Senator Brown voting for and Senator Portman voting against. The new justice-to-be will be sworn in this summer when retiring Justice Stephen Breyer leaves the court. Our Emma Henderson spoke with local law students to get their thoughts on what this means to them. I, I wish people understood how amazing this is. Stephanie Goggins proudly served her country before heading to Cleveland State's law school. To her, Ketanji Brown Jackson securing a seat on the Supreme Court is a moment for all Americans. I'm proud. She deserves this. She's worked for this, and it's, it reinforces this concept that if you work hard and if you commit and you endure, sometimes it's justified, sometimes it's not, like, you can rise. Both Goggins and Case Western law student Sierra Lipscomb talked about the power of having a role model in a position of power and how they believe it can encourage both children and adults to reach for their ambitions. In Lipscomb's case, even if at seven months they might be a little too young to fully understand. I'm just excited to share this news. She's not going to know what is going on, but I'm excited to share this news with my daughter. Um, and through her babbling, hopefully she, she gets an inkling of, oh, wow, something great has happened. Lipscomb's emotions today are very different than when we first checked in with her as Brown Jackson was going through the hearing process. Lipscomb felt some of the questions distracted from the judge's resume. It seemed like that was not at center stage during the confirmation hearings. And so I think now I feel like I can you know, breathe easily now, like with a sigh of relief that, okay, she is confirmed. Both women say they hope people can get inspiration, but also motivation with this historic vote. As of right now, less than 5% of attorneys in the United States are black and fewer than 2% of people named to a federal court seat are black women. Russ? And as we said today, an historic day, but a long way to go. All right, thank you so much, Emma. Appreciate it.